In this video, we're going to be comparing Bluehost versus Hostinger. Among the many options available, Bluehost and Hostinger are two popular choices that cater to different types of users. We'll compare Bluehost and Hostinger to help you decide which is the better fit for your needs. So first we're going to go over the pricing. Bluehost offers competitive introductory rates, often starting as low as $1.99 per month for shared hosting. However, the renewal rates can jump significantly after the first term. Plans typically include features like a free domain for the first year and a free SSL certificate. Hostinger is known for its exceptionally low prices, with plans starting around $2.99 per month for shared hosting. It also provides a free SSL certificate, but the free domain is only available with certain plans and may come at an additional cost. Verdict. If you're on a tight budget, Bluehost has the edge with lower starting prices. However, consider the long-term costs as well, especially with renewal rates. Now let's talk about the performance and uptime. Bluehost generally boasts solid uptime, often around 99.98%. It offers fast loading speeds, particularly for WordPress sites due to its optimized infrastructure. Hostinger claims to deliver uptime of 99.9% and has received positive reviews for its speed, particularly for its low-cost plans. Many users report faster loading times compared to other budget providers. Verdict. Both providers offer reliable performance, but Hostinger may have a slight edge in speed based on user feedback. Now, how do the user interfaces compare? Bluehost's user interface is designed to be beginner-friendly. The dashboard uses cPanel, making it easy to navigate for those new to web hosting. The integration with WordPress is seamless, allowing for straightforward installations and management. Hosting a uses a custom-built control panel, which some users find less intuitive than cPanel. However, it still offers a clean layout and easy navigation. It provides a variety of tools for managing websites, though the learning curve may be steeper for absolute beginners. Verdict? Bluehost is generally easier for beginners, especially those focused on WordPress. Hostinger's control panel may take some getting used to but offers powerful features. Customer support. Bluehost offers 24-7 customer support via phone, live chat, and an extensive knowledge base. While many users report positive experiences, some have noted longer wait times during peak hours. Hostinger also provides 24-7 support, primarily through live chat and a ticketing system. Their knowledge base is extensive, but phone support is not available in the same way it is with Bluehost. Verdict. Bluehost has a slight advantage due to its phone support option, which can be crucial for urgent issues. Bluehost offers 24-7 customer support via phone, live chat, and an extensive knowledge base. While many users report positive experiences, some have noted longer wait times during peak hours. Hostinga also provides 24-7 support, primarily through live chat and a ticketing system. Their knowledge base is extensive, but phone support is not available in the same way it is with Bluehost. Bluehost has a slight advantage due to its phone support option, which can be crucial for urgent issues. Bluehost's plans come with a variety of features, including a free domain for the first year, a free SSL certificate, one-click WordPress installation, a 30-day money-back guarantee, and marketing credits for Google Ads. Hostinger offers similar features, including a free SSL certificate, a website builder with drag-and-drop functionality, a 30-day money-back guarantee, and daily backups and caching options in higher-tier plans. Both providers offer essential features, but Bluehost's integration with WordPress and marketing credits provide additional value for users looking to grow their online presence. Bluehost provides various hosting options, including shared, VPS, and dedicated hosting. This flexibility allows users to scale easily as their website grows. Hostinger also offers a wide range of hosting types, including shared, VPS, and cloud hosting. Its plans are designed to accommodate growth, with the ability to upgrade as needed. Both providers offer good scalability options, allowing users to find the right plan for their current needs and upgrade as necessary. Both Bluehost and Hostinger have unique strengths that cater to different audiences. Bluehost is an excellent choice for beginners, especially those focused on WordPress, due to its user-friendly interface, comprehensive customer support, 
and solid performance. On the other hand, Hostinger shines with its affordability and impressive speed. Ultimately, the best choice will depend on your specific needs, budget, and technical expertise. If cost is your primary concern, Bluehost may be the way to go. However, Hostinger is still a strong choice, but Bluehost could be the better option in the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this review useful, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.